Yes, uh, Chris. Just, just first, just was just curious. How's the, how's the ankle feel? And uh, you good to go tonight? Pretty good. I'll be ready. And just to follow that up, you, you, you've been in so many openers over the over the years. Uh, does it feel the same? Does it feel different? How, how has it, uh, you know, changed and evolved over the years? Um, I think it's a lot different this year. Obviously, we know fans. Um, quick turnaround, fresh out the bubble, all the different things I think that we sort of uh, doing on a daily basis as far as testing. But I'll tell you one thing, uh, it's still a, a blessing and an unbelievable opportunity to, to get a chance to play this game, you know, especially to play uh, for as long as I've had an opportunity to. Next is Kellen Olson with Arizona Sports, followed by Brendan Klain. Hey, Chris, uh, I was curious with your thoughts on Luca and how, how you scheme for a player like that and your thoughts on the matchup with Dallas overall. Yeah, it's tough. It's tough. Luca's tough. Um, guy that has the ball in his hands a lot, rightfully so. Um, you got to try to contain him. You know what I mean? Try to make it, make it hard on him. Um, he's a guy that gets going, gets guys involved or whatnot. Uh, got to try to make him work, try to make him work all game long. Next is Brendan Clean with Bright Side of the Sun, followed by Christos Saltis. Hey, Chris, I'm just curious if there's a, a couple things that, that you feel like are the focus heading into the game, maybe that, that preseason kind of taught you guys or, or anything like that as you get ready for the first regular season game. Uh, I think our biggest thing is going to be to um, compete. You know, um, first game, obviously, it'll probably be a few jitters here and there. Um, the new arena, all this different type of stuff. But I think, uh, you know, one of the things we learned from preseason is that we got to compete, we got to rebound and, and run, get ourselves in a, uh, a type of playing shape that we want to be in for um, the whole season. Thank you. Next is Christo Saltas with Sport DNA in Greece, followed by Dwayne Rankin. Hello, Chris. I would like to ask you how satisfied you are about the preparation the press, and the precision of uh, your team. And also, uh, what is the main goal about uh, this season for you personally? One more time. Yeah. Uh, how, how satisfied you are about uh, the precision and the preparation of uh, the team? And also, what is the main goal for you? I mean, this preseason was as good as, I mean, we, we had different guys, including myself, in and out of different games. Um, a lot of new pieces, um, a lot of guys we're trying to incorporate. So for us, it's about building, you know, every game. And I've said this for so many years, but over the course of the season, you want to build and you want to win at the same time. You know, if, if you learn, you know, that we need to rebound better, we need to defend better, you're like, you want to win and learn those things at the same time. Next is Dwayne Rankin with the Arizona Republic, followed by Paul Richardson. Yes, um, Chris, uh, looking at uh, Etuan Moore, I, I, how big will his role be, you feel, uh, this year? You, you've talked about, you know, playing with pros and the, from the people I've talked with, they, they've said all that about Etuan, he's a pro's pro. So uh, how, how big will his role be uh, this year, you think? Man, I think it'll be huge, you know, uh, with the amount of games that we'll have, you know, playing so many games, uh, you know, in a short amount of time, we're going to need everybody. I think Equan, aside from his ability, I think his voice is going to be huge. He's somebody I think that guys in our locker room respect, you know, for, for his hard work, uh, you know, hard hat type mentality. So I think he's going to be a huge piece for our team. And just a, a, a quick follow, uh, you know, obviously, you know, this the 10 year gap with you and you and Monty, how was you guys relationship from or how did it evolve and change from when you last played for him uh, to now? I mean, what, how would you describe how it, you know, obviously you guys got closer, but how, how it changed and evolved over the years? Uh, I think we just didn't have experiences, right? Um, anytime in life you have experiences, you learn, um, things change. You start to appreciate things uh, a lot more at times. And I, I definitely appreciated mining, you know, 10 years ago and still to this day I do. You know, and um, he's just, uh, aside from being a, a great guy and all that stuff, um, if you're talking about basketball in general, 
he's so detailed oriented. One thing that our team will never have to worry about going into any game is being prepared. All right, last two questions will come from Paul Richardson with the Sports Cave and Chris Henderson. Hey, Chris, you've been through so many uh, season openers. Do you have any traditions, superstitions, rituals, or anything that you found yourself doing over the years to kick off the season? Um, yeah, I got a few people that I always text with or say a prayer with. My dad, my brother always send me um, a text on, you know, opening night. Uh, my family's here in town. You know, even though they can't come to the game, uh, I never started a season without without my family being in town 16 years. So uh, it's nice to have them here, uh, even if it's just for this game. Final question comes from Chris Henderson with cHendo.com. All right, CP. So, you know, for you, this is your 13th shoot on the Jordan brand. I got to ask you this. I know the fans want to know. What are your thoughts about this shoe and going to the season with the CP313? Man, this shoe is uh, amazing. It's crazy to have 13 shoes, right? I mean, yeah. Yeah, I got, that's a blessing in itself. So all of the designs that go into it, uh, I was in the locker room with some of my teammates talking about them because some of them went to Carolina. Cam went to Carolina, so they used to wear the shoes. Jay, Jay Crowder went to Marquette, so they used to wear the shoes. Uh, I don't know, just talking about all the designs and thinking about all the years from no kids to having kids and all this stuff. So uh, I'm excited about the 13.